Hi everybody, I'm Alejandra, librarian at the Point Siena Branch Library with the Osceola Library System, and welcome to this month's Take and Make. Today I'm going to show you how to make this simple dotted mandala painting. Okay, and we do have Take and Make kits available one week prior to our live program. So if you had a chance to pick up a Take and Make kit, you can go ahead and follow along with me with the supplies included in the kit. If not, the supplies you're going to need include a piece of cardstock. I'm going to use a black colored cardstock, but you can use any color that you would like. And then the one I'm using is a size 5x7. I'm going to use four colors of paint. I have a white, a light blue, a medium blue, and a sort of medium green. You're going to need a few cotton buds. I would recommend at least five, if not a few more. And then you're going to need a few napkins to just wipe off your cotton buds between colors. So we can go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is take one of my cotton buds and rip off the cotton from one end. That way we are left with one end for our bigger dots and then another end for our smaller dots. This one's a little tough. Sometimes they come off so easy, but sometimes it's just a pain to get the cotton off. Okay, so we have our small end and our big end. And just make sure that you don't have any like little fluffies sticking out of the cotton bud, you know? Just give it a little twist to secure those. And then I'm going to dip into my lightest color, which is white with my big end. And I'm going to make one big dot at the bottom left hand corner of my paper. So you can see there, one dot at the bottom left hand corner. And then I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off before the paint dries. And then now I'm taking my small end and dipping into my next lightest color, which is for me is light blue. And I'm going to make a row of small dots around my big dot. Okay, so there we go. Our big dot and then a row of small dots. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe my q-tip again and i'm going to dip into the blue and make another row of small dots i am going in color order from lightest to darkest but you can you can do whatever color you prefer whatever pattern you want it really doesn't matter next i'm going to dip into my green and make another row of small dots and then i'm mainly doing the colors in small dots and then I'm doing the white or the big dots in white but again you can do however you prefer that's the cool thing about this um, project that you don't really need to have a plan per se like you can have a good shape but like you don't have to have a plan of what colors you want or what sizes you want you just you can just kind of go for it and it usually comes out pretty great so now I'm doing another row of the big dots in white. Okay, so as you can see then, I have my white dot, my colors, and then another row of white. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do maybe uh, some big dots in blue now. Just make sure that your dots are pretty evenly spaced. If you kind of have some that are closer together and some that are further apart, it does start to look a little bit sloppy. So if you can, just try your best to keep everything pretty even. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my blue with the small end of my Q-tip and do another row. And then once you find that your Q-tip is starting to get a little bit frayed, then you want to go ahead and swap out. Otherwise, your dots are going to start looking a little bit messy. I find this project to be very relaxing, actually, doing this little dot mandala. Okay, so that's where I'm at right now. And you're pretty much just going to continue varying colors and sizes of dots until about halfway on your cardstock. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I've already done that. So this might be a little bit more than halfway, but you want to do your bigger shape. And then we're going to do now our smaller shapes that branch out from our biggest shape. 
So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take a fresh Q-tip, pull off one end, and I'm going to go ahead and dip into my white for the center of my smaller dots. And I'm going to start it just down here. Be very careful where you rest your hand too. I've had that happen to me a million times where I rest my hand right on top of the wet paint. So be careful. <laughs> Okay, so I have my big dot there, and I'm going to start my my small shape with some, let's go with the medium blue. And I'm going to make smaller dots around my big white dot. And then wipe off my Q-tip. If you had a sharpened pencil, you could even use the tip of your pencil as a dotting tool as well, and then make some really, really small dots between your rows. I think that would be so, so pretty. But I think even just the Q-tip is fun too. It looks really pretty. These would actually make great postcards now that I think about it, because it is kind of the perfect size. All you need to do is get like a lighter colored, like a white gel pen or something, and it would make a super, super cute postcard. So there, I'm going to start my shape that's branching off, and then you can do a few of those shapes. And then your finished product is going to look like this with a few. You can fill up the whole thing or leave some blank space. It's totally up to you. And we're all done. Thanks so much for joining me, everybody. Just as a reminder, our next live program is going to be Wednesday the 30th at 2 p.m., where we'll be doing some acrylic pouring. Make sure you check out our website, osceolalibrary.org, for more information about our virtual programs and our other services. Thanks so much for joining me. See you next time.